Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can move files from one team to another in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now there's a few different ways that you can move files between channels in a team and between teams themselves. Now, I'll show you the easiest way first, and you can see here that I am currently in the general channel of my human resources team, and I am also in the files tab. Now, you can see here that I have two files. Now, to move these files between channels in a team, so specifically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move these from the general channel to the employees channel while still within this human resources team. So you want to check the files that you want to move and you can do this with folders as well. And you want to go ahead and click on this move button. What this is going to do is this is actually going to bring up a navigation pane and you can see here again that it is showing the general channel. Now to move up a level, what you want to do is click on this arrow. And this is now going to show you the team that these files are in. And you can see here, I have a folder that's called general and I have a folder that's called employees. Now, if you weren't already aware, files that are stored in Microsoft Teams are actually being stored in a SharePoint online team site. And every channel that is created in a team is actually a folder in a SharePoint online site. And that's why you can see here two folders with the same channel names in this team. Now, what I'm gonna do to move these files from general into employees is I'm gonna click into employees. And once it's been selected here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this move button. And you can see that these files have disappeared. Now, if we click into the employees channel, and we click into the files tab, you can see that these files have been moved into this particular channel. Now, again, you can do this with folders, you can do it with individual files, multiple files, etc. Now, it's also important to note, you can also do this with respect to copying files. So we did a move here, but if perhaps you wanted to copy the files, again, you wanna select those files, you wanna click copy, and it's going to bring up the same menu. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on this up arrow and I'm gonna copy these files back into my general channel. And you can see that these files are still here. And now when I click back into my general channel and I click into the files tab, those files have again been copied here. So that was how to move files in between channels that are in the same team. Now, if you wanna move files between teams themselves, again, you wanna go ahead and select the files that you want to move and you wanna click on the move button. And again, you wanna click on the up arrow and now you wanna go ahead and click on the up arrow again. So this is now showing my human resources team. If I click it once more, now what it's going to do is it's actually gonna show me a list of all of the teams that I am a member or owner of. So what I'm going to do is I want to move these files from the human resources team into my finance team. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And again, it's going to show me a list of the channels that exist in that team. And I want to go ahead and move them into the general channel. And I'm going to go ahead and click move. And you can see that these files are no longer in this human resources general channel. Now, if I click into my finance general channel and I click on the files tab, you can see here employee list and HR report have been moved. So it's very simple to move files between channels within the same team and to move files between teams themselves. Now, I mentioned that there's an alternative way that you can actually move files between channels and teams. And the first way that we looked at is doing it from the Microsoft Teams user interface. The second method is to do it from SharePoint Online. Now, when you're in the Files tab of any channel, you're going to see this button that says Open in SharePoint. If you click this, it's actually going to bring you into the SharePoint backend where these files are actually stored. And you can move and again, copy files from the SharePoint interface. 
Now, there isn't any distinct advantage between doing it from Teams or from SharePoint. Um, they both perform the exact same function. So you can see here, I am in the finance SharePoint online site that serves as the back end for that finance team. And again, I am in the general channel. Now, if I click onto documents here, what you're going to see again here is that there is going to be one folder per channel that you have in that team. So in this team, I just have the general channel and that's where my files are stored. Now, if I want to go ahead and move everything that is in this income statements folder, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check it and I'll just check another file as well. And what you want to do now is you wanna go ahead and click on the three dots, which is the more actions button. And again, you can see the two options, move to or copy to. I'll go ahead and click on move to. And what you can see here is again, a list of all of the different teams that I'm a member of. So you'll see all of the teams that you're a member of. And if I wanna go ahead and move these into another team, for example, you click on that team. And again, it's going to show you the different channels that you have created in that team. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the general channel and I'm gonna click on the move here button. And you can see here that these files are being moved. And you can see here that these files have now been moved into the general channel of that team that I'd selected and they've disappeared from this general channel in the SharePoint online site that serves as the team backend. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to move files in Microsoft Teams between channels and between teams. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.